So my name is uh, David Taves, and I'm a PhD student in Darren Irwin's lab. We're quite interested in, in understanding how new species form. This can take a really long time. We know it takes millions and millions of years. Most people aren't willing to, to wait around to actually see a new species form. So what we do in our lab is study these, these places where sort of species interact. You know, these neighborhoods can tell us a lot about how they evolved and then how new species could eventually evolve. One of the other interesting things that we've looked at is birdsong to see how, um, how <clears throat> the song of one species differs from another species. We will uh, set up a, a mist net. So these are about four meters tall and six meters wide, and they're made of this really soft nylon mesh. So the net is made up of uh, uh, sleeves or pockets that when the bird flies in, they'll basically just fall down into the bottom of the pocket. Usually what we'll do is have a, have a speaker hooked up to an iPod. So we can fill our iPod with all sorts of different songs from all sorts of different species. And when we play a song for a certain species through the speaker, that male, um, if he's on his territory, he may think that another male is invaded or has come to check out his, you know, his turf. Let's, um, what is that? That's a goldfinch. Goldfinch? Let's put it in a goldfinch. Okay, we can try. American? American goldfinch. And so usually they'll come down and investigate around the speaker. And if we've set up our net in the right spot, um, he will fly into the net. When we, uh, when we catch a bird in the field, we first get out of the net and we make sure that it's looking okay. Uh, the first thing we, we do is put a small aluminum band on it. So these are bands that have a, a unique number. When we release this bird, um, there are bird banding stations all over the world, which if they catch a bird and they see that it has a band on it, they'll record the number and then we'll be able to go into this big database to see if if the bird that we banded actually showed up, and then we can figure out where it went to. But the other really important information that we get are a lot of measurements. So we'll measure the leg, the length of the beak, the width of the beak. We take a, a very standard measurement of uh, the length of the wing um, and also the tail. We like to take a, a, a sample of a, a small feather for, um, we can do analysis in the lab later on to look at that and also a lot of our research looks at um, blood samples. So we'll take a small drop of blood from an individual. We also take lots of pictures because there's lots of differences between species and between um, individuals within a species in terms of their feathers and their patterns. Cool. Oh.